Hello, I'm Ron. I'm an alcoholic. I went into a rehab clinic just over three years ago. Yeah, so I didn't really know why I was there, um, but I started feeling better and better, of course, over the first couple of weeks. Not a day I didn't want to leave there. My daughter-in-law would uh, arrange everything for me every single day to see how I was getting on. And, uh, but I started feeling much, much better. And after a fortnight, I felt really, really good when I came to visit. So after a fortnight, I felt really, really good. And uh, I thought, well, uh, that's it. Now I'm going back to Thailand. And uh, I went into the office and I said, thank you very much. And they, laugh at, they still laugh at it now because I still see them occasionally. And I said after a fortnight, thank you very much. Bang the desk and keyword. What a stupid word keyword is in alcoholism. Uh, of course I felt good. It's uh, the first time in 50 years that I've gone a whole fortnight without a drink. A whole fortnight without a drink. The first time in 50 years that I'd had three square meals a day. Of course I felt good. I really felt great. So I said, so I'm, I'm going back to Thailand now. And he said, no, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a three months course. I said, three months? You're joking. I'm staying here for three months. I'm going back to my fiance in Thailand. Anyway, this argument got worse and worse, and, and more and more counsellors came in to try and get, uh, keep me there. And uh, I said, do you mind if I call my daughter-in-law from here, the one who brought me in? And said, no, of course. So I, I phoned her up, and I said, Anne, I said, you won't believe this, what she says. They want me to stay here for three months. Yes, I know, she said. I, I, I could have killed her. She lied to me all the way through. Thankfully, I owe my life. I really owe her my life. She got me back, this old drunk, she'd got back from Thailand to go into rehab, knowing full well that I had to stay for three months. So gradually I accepted it. I still didn't want to stay there. And when, as I said, she phoned me every day to see how I was getting on. She talked to the counsellors to see how I was getting on. Um, I still until about halfway through the three months still wasn't convinced I was in the right place but when I got to about steps uh, four to nine uh, about halfway through all of a sudden ding the light went on I realized at last that I was in the right place and this was the right thing for me and uh, I phoned Anne up or when I spoke to Anne again I said Anne I'm definitely going to do this uh, the three months and a sigh of relief went around the country. All my family, Anne and everybody, he stayed in there for the three months. And I, and I did. And uh, I left rehab in March, uh, three years ago. And uh, as I say, m my life has been absolutely wonderful ever since. I've never, once, once I left rehab, the thought of drinking again has gone 100%. I never ever think of drinking. I test myself, I'm an Italian chap, uh, not bragging, but I went into a, a pub before a meeting, had a glass of coke, no problem at all. I went on holiday to Egypt within a month of coming out of rehab on my own, knowing full well that uh, if I had a drink on the plane, which was my no normal thing to do, or in the country that I was at, no one would ever know except me. I went on holiday and never ever thought about it, never thought of taking a drink. I sometimes looked at somebody having a glass of wine uh, with a dinner and thought, yeah, I remember that. But the thought of actually buying one never ever crossed my mind.